Hey folks, uh, this lesson is more complex solutions of quadratic equations. These are the application problems. They're not as bad as you think, you guys, so don't get too uh, wound up with that word. Application meaning word problem. So anyways, don't forget our lessons can be found there. And then our question still is how can we find complex solutions of quadratic equations? Okay, so we're going to answer by writing an equation. They, they always give us an equation, or at least they set us up with something to make an equation and then determine uh, whether the solutions of the equation are real or non-real. Okay, so here we go. A ball is thrown in the air with an initial velocity of 14 meters per second from an initial height of 2 meters. Okay, so there's the, the this is always your initial velocity right here. This is always the initial height right here, the initial position right here. Okay, and in meters per second, it's always in negative 4.9. Okay, if it was in feet per second, this would be negative 16. Anyways, so the ball's height right here, h of t in meters at time t in seconds, can be modeled by this equation right here. So does the ball reach a height of 12? Okay, it's not asking when, you guys. So we're not solving, you guys. It's not asking when, but it's asking does it reach? So that we just want to know, is it going to give us a real answer? Okay, so we just want to find the discriminant. Okay, so remember, we're going to set it equal to 12 because it says, uh, does the ball reach 12 meters? So that would, does, it, can I, will this give us a real solution when this is 12? So let's go ahead and set that, uh, this equation equal to 12 right there. Okay, we're going to subtract 12 to make it equal to 0 so we can go ahead and use the, the discriminant right here. Okay, slide that up. So there's the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac. Okay, so we just want to go ahead and multiply. 14 times 14 is 196. Okay, and then uh, 4 times um, 4 times 4.9. Here we have a negative times a negative is a positive times another negative is going to be a negative. Okay, this is um, this is 19.6. 19.6 times 10 is 196, so we have 196 minus 196, which equals zero. Okay, so if you can remember back in the last lesson of discriminants, when it equals zero, that tells us that the equation has one real solution. So does the ball reach 12 feet high? Yes, in one spot it does. Um, and remember, it's just asking, does the ball reach 12 meters high? Did I say feet, meters high? Yes. Uh, in one spot it does because it equals zero, so there's one solution, okay? All right, so here's another one. A garden is enclosed with 100 feet of fencing. The area of the garden is given by uh, that function right there where W is the width and feet uh, uh, of the garden. So can the garden have an area of 700? So we're going to set this equal to 700 right there. Okay, so it's asking again, can it have an area? It's not asking what are the dimensions, so we're not solving for W. This is another discriminant problem. So let's set it equal to 700, and then we'll subtract 700 and put it in standard form. So we're going to put the, the squared term first, so it's negative W squared plus this 50W. We subtract 700 on both sides. And then there's A, there's B, there's C right there. So B squared minus 4AC gives us... Um, uh, this is uh, 5 squared is 25, so 25 with two zeros is 2,500. Okay, 4 times 7 is 28. So we have a negative times a negative times a negative is a negative. So we have 2,500 minus 2,800 is negative 300. Okay, so the discriminant is negative. That tells us, you guys, that the equation has two non-real solutions and can't ever have an area of 700 square feet. All right, so this was in here to trick you, you guys. You didn't need that 100 feet of fencing right there, okay? All right. Here's another one. Now this had a word problem about a, a sailboat with the sail as a triangular region. And I'm just taking out all those words. So can a triangle have a height uh, h in inches to be twice the base b in inches that has an area of, of 10 inches squared? Okay, so there's the area of a triangle. Okay, now it says um, the height is uh, twice the base. So we're going to go ahead and substitute uh, h equals 2b right there. And so there's the 2b right there. And then this 1 half and 2 cancels. So b times b is b squared. So we have area equals b squared. So we're going to set that equal to 10. Can that be equal 10 right there? Oops, I lost something right there. What did I lose? I lost that. Hmm. 
Interesting. Okay, well, I'll just copy and paste it. Okay. Uh, okay, so setting it equal to 10, we get that. And then so can b squared equal 10? Well, using your discriminant right there. Uh, remember, a is 1, uh, b is, uh, so I, sorry for the b squared right there, but think of this as 1x squared plus 0x minus 10, where there's a, there's b, there's c. So b squared minus 4ac uh, is going to get us... Uh, um, uh, 40 right there and since that's a positive number right there then we can say uh, that the equation will have two real solutions so sure the area uh, of the triangle can be 10 inches squared and so the two real solutions just means that uh, we can get two different widths right here okay so uh, our bases I'm sorry or heights there's two different uh, dimensions right there all right so and then the next the last part talks about using the quadratic equation to solve some equations so the last uh, lesson the part one emphasized uh, the, the completing the square here we're going to emphasize on two problems on your homework to uh, use the quadratic formula so there it is right there I'm not going to sing it because it gets stuck in my head so anyway solve using the quadratic formula so uh, so here we go I almost sang it um, all right x equals opposite b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over and through the Anyway, I, like the sum negative boy, couldn't decide on whether to go to a radical party or to B square and miss out on four awesome chicks. The party was over at 2 a.m. That one's uh, said a lot also. There's A, there's B, there's C. So here we go. Plugging it in, we get that. Gives us that. We're going to get some negative values right here. When we get some negative values, it's going to give us um, an, an imaginary solution right there. So there's 156, 2 times 2 times 39. So a pair of 2s are going to come out. So we get 2i root 39. Remember, when we have a square root of a negative, there's an i involved. These, you can divide them all by, by 2. So this is going to become 1. That's going to become 1. That's going to become negative 5. So there's our answer right there. Now, typically, we don't use the negative in the denominator right here, but this plus or minus allows us to, I mean, if you absorb this up here, it would be negative 1, and then the plus or minus would become minus or plus, which is still plus or minus, uh, I root 39 over positive 5. So if you want to write that, that's okay also, you guys, okay? All right, so let's try one more here, you guys. So we're going to make it equal to 0 before we can use that quadratic formula right there. And if we crank it out, we get negative 108. 108, I broke it down over here, and there's an I involved right there. So... Uh, we get uh, 6i root 3, and then again, 2 goes into that once, into that 3 times, into that 7 times, so, so that'll leave us with that answer right there. All right, you guys, if you are in our class, that would be your assignment. Take care.